Hey guys, Anthony, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna go over the Apex Trader Funding Series where we take 18 accounts combined with two of my own personal accounts. We trade those accounts, get them all funded, and get payouts from them. The purpose of the series is just to document that it doesn't matter how much money you have or how much how little money you have if you have the right trading skills and discipline you're able to make a living more than a living a trading as long as you have those skills so capital doesn't matter because we can buy the capital with profits so if you appreciate the series hit that thumbs up button it lets me know you like this kind of series and i can do more of it and go into more detail but without further ado let's let's show what, we, what you want to see right so let's take a look at the accounts um, real quick if you're new here just so you know, I've been doing this series uh, each week updating and we're gonna go over it real quick for the new people. Uh, here are all the pictures of the past weeks and uh, I don't have the, the, the week we started but this is the end of the first week where the account balances you can see here are around 51,000. So we made about $1,000 in one week and that's where you can see all these $50,000 accounts. They weren't PA accounts, they all said Apex. One was a PA account because um, we ended up getting it from about 52,000 to 53,000 because I started that account early. But the rest of them were around 50,000 and in one week we went, took them from 50,000 to 51,000. So then week two, after the second week, you can see here we had one, two, two PA accounts and then most of the balances were at 1,700 in profit. And if you're unfamiliar, we have to get it to 53,000 to make it a real account. That's what the targets are here on the right hand side. So then at the end of the third week, we had six PA accounts. That was about two weeks ago. And then I started to have some troubles in the market the past two weeks, if I'm being honest, because uh, you know we had the last week of December, which is extremely low volume. It was challenging for me. And then the first week of January was actually challenging for me, and you'll see that in, in a moment. But six PA accounts three weeks in, and most of the balances are at 2,600, so we were really close. I basically started scalping on them individually just to get them, them, them funded. Uh, end of week four here, you can see, boom, we have all of them funded except for uh, one account, which is a 250K account. So this was um, two weeks ago, right? This was about just going into, yeah, this was after the last week of December. So this was starting January 1st. There's 18 accounts here. We blew one of the 50K accounts trying to get it funded because all of them, all 17 were funded except for one. We blew one while getting uh, 17 of them funded. And then I bought a 250K account challenge. And then I, there was an Apex 80% off sale that went off, so I decided to top it off and get to 20, 20 accounts this past week. So now, this is the end of week five, and this was this past week. We had all uh, all the accounts funded, and you can see here, PA accounts, down about 496. So this week we lost about 496 on pretty much every account. Yeah, so we lost about 496, except the 250K accounts I traded separately. So I traded these three separately. We made about uh, 1,600 on each account. I have three of them because I bought two more. So now we have 20 accounts total and you'll just watch see showing 20 records. We have three 250K accounts that I'm working on getting funded because they're just Apex, they're not PA. Then we have 17 50K accounts that are PA accounts. And you can see that um, three of them, the balance is a loss of minus 225. Uh, most of them are minus 496 because this is the first week and this week I lost about $500 on every account including my personal accounts so I'm trading my I'm still trading my personal accounts they have different sizing guidelines than the PA accounts but just know that uh, this week we lost about 500 which is not bad whatsoever because my strategies did not do well this week at all I actually dodged some bullets uh, they did not do well as they did not do well at all last week either so last week I should have lost a lot of money but last week was break, basically a break-even week for me so that was a huge win and then this week uh, was just my, minus 500 which should have been minus 800 or minus 1000 but I dodged a few bullets uh, and these are just based on my strategies so how I measure my success is did I execute and follow my strategies to the fullest if I took my setups every single time and, and took losses it's a win Right? If I didn't take my setups and I missed a few and you know, I should have been more profitable than I was, it's a, it's a big loss. That's a big loss to me. Uh, but what's a huge win is if I take my setups and maybe I didn't take a setup because I didn't feel good about it for whatever reason and it was a loss. Uh, so I lost less money than I should have. That's also a win, right? As long as I can identify why I didn't take the, the setup, right? So, 
Um, basically, we lost 500 on every account. Great success because I should have lost more based on my strategies. So we're gonna go into this week, fresh mind, uh, still taking about one contract per trade. My goal is in the next few weeks, by the end of January, you know, get these PA account balances up to about 53, 54,000. And then I can increase my size to two contracts. But for now, uh, I don't feel good with taking two contracts. Um, because let's go over, we'll go over to the risk of ruin. I did a ton of back testing. I got about a year of data on all of my strategies. And let's go over to the risk of ruin because I have updated stats on my strategies. If you're new here, I highly suggest you check out this page. It's the risk of ruin calculator. You can just Google it. Uh, the website's at the top. Uh, basically, uh, I have a few strategies and some are a one to one R, some are a two to one R, um, some are actually 0.7 R, less than one R. But the they all average out to a 68% a win rate and they all, all average out to a one to one R. So if I do one contract, uh, my max drawdown I'm allowed is still 5%. So on the $50,000 accounts, if I lose 2,500, I lose the account, which is 5% max drawdown. If I use one contract, most of my stop losses are 10 points, which is about uh, $200, which is about 0.4% risk on the account if I use one contract. So basically my risk per trade is typically 0.4%. If I wanna factor in commission and slippage, then I'll just go to 0.5% to be even more sure on my data. Now, if we go, just go to the next 30 trades, uh, basically the, the purpose of this is to see, you know, what's the probability of me blowing the accounts in the next 30 trades if I take my setups with that amount of risk, that, that often of a win rate and that average uh, RR. Uh, so average profit loss of one just means that if my stop loss is 10 points, my target is also 10 points. So it's a one to one. And like I said, my strategies average out to 68% win rate and they average out to a one to one R. Last videos, I said that I had an 80% win rate and a one to one R. After doing a ton of back testing and even more data, it's more like a 68% win rate. So basically, if I don't have any human error, there's no chance, I can say a very extremely small chance of me blowing the account with one contract. And that's why you know I only lost 500 this week, which is about 15 points, which is very easy to make back, where my, you know, I have to lose 2,500 to lose the account. But if I go to contracts, and that's in 30 trades, right? That's in the next 30 trades. But if you go into 100 trades and you go by the 0.5% risk, it's the one contract, it's still very low, right? I have 0.4% chance of blowing all those 17 Apex accounts, PA accounts, uh, in the next 100 trades. But if I go over to a 1% risk, so now if I move up to two contracts before I have the $4,000 buffer, then if I calculate it, there's a 19% chance of me blowing the accounts. So, you know, risk of peak to value drawdown is the one you want to go to because that's what, you know, there's a trailing drawdown on Apex. So if I have this trailing drawdown, then there's a 19% chance, 19 chance of me blowing the account if I do two contracts. However, if I wait till I have a 54 or 55K balance, then my max drawdown I'm allowed is then 10%. And at that point, if I go to two contracts, once I build the buffer, because the trailing draw drawdown stops after 52,600. If I build a buffer and I get to 54, 55,000, my max drawdown to blow the account is ten now 10%. At that point, that's when I plan to use two contracts and then I'll be risking 1% per trade. With my same strategies, you calculate the chance of blowing the accounts at that point and again, back to the same result, 0.3%. So that's my whole strategy, right? I wanna keep, I wanna keep using one contract, risking, you know, 0.4%, 0.5% per trade until those PA account balances you just saw get up to 55,000 or 54,000. Then I can move to two contracts and then it'll feel like I have the exact same risk and I won't be afraid of blowing the accounts because I, again, I have to lose, I have to lose more than 10 trades in a row. And it's just extremely unlikely to lose more than 10 trades in a row with a 68% win rate. Um, again, possible, but extremely unlikely. And you know, there could be human error, right? I could take a tr I could take a trade setup that wasn't my setup accident, could be a loss. So these are the things I wanna factor in. And that's why I don't believe I will blow these accounts as long as I continue to stay disciplined, continue to take, take setups that are in my strategy and don't veer off or venture off path and take other trades or size up big after a losing streak. And that's what's happened to me in the past. Like if I've taken three losses in a row, double my size in the fourth one, it happens, right? 
That's why I also have a max number of trades a day. So if I take too many trades, I have to cut myself off because if I overtrade, I'll, again, death by a thousand cuts or I'll size up. And that's just what happens to me. So that's basically where we're at. And we're still using uh, the five minute NQ and one minute NQ, uh, basically following the five and 15 minute market structure on NQ and then going down to one minute basically looking for entries on the one minute and using the five minutes uh, you know, lows or highs as my stop loss or TP for liquidity. So if you have any questions on my trading strategy, you can leave them in the comments down below or I'll just leave the link up in the cards. I have a video going over my full strategy. So if you wanna take a look at that video and see how I trade, you can hit that up. But subscribe for more videos just like this. I post one video a week on the Apex Trader Funding Series and another another video each week on uh, market structure and, and basically trading strategies. So if you want to learn more about how I trade, then you're going to want to subscribe and follow along the journey. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.